new Samsung Odyssey Arc 55. As far as peels go, whoa. Hard to even call it a monitor, really, because it's gonna be your TV, it's gonna be your monitor, it's gonna have all your sources going into it, it has a four speaker system, it's gonna be your music system. The most insane thing about this, so this stand is almost hard to believe. Everything seems off, it's like very Alice in Wonderland right now. And then, it does that. This also still does this which is probably what you would wanna do. It brings the upper portion closer to your point of view. And if you have one of these chairs, check out this experience here, and you now have this incredible real estate. Now, what can you do with this display? And as you can see in this portrait orientation, there's a few different options. I can set up two screens, I can set up three screens, or I can do one large with a picture in picture. Now, for the purpose of this demo, I'm gonna do three. I'll put the PC down on the bottom here in the screen one section, YouTube in screen two, and I'll do, well, let's do a browser in screen three. What you're gonna notice is that it looks like a triple monitor setup. In reality, it's not three separate inputs. Instead, this is a smart monitor, which is using a separate YouTube app to supply the center screen, a browser app, to supply the top screen. There's other inputs available to you, including AirPlay if you want to Apple-related device mirrored into one of these sections. You have Netflix and a variety of other apps, Twitch. But what you can't do and what you aren't doing is putting three separate HDMI inputs into these three separate outputs. Have their PC down here that you'd be doing some work You'd have your YouTube going and possibly your audio being pumped via the, the YouTube portion. You can select the audio output from any one of these screens at any given time. And this is kind of, this is why I think Samsung has given you this controller here to quickly cycle through, change sources. And you can see in the YouTube scenario, this is actually fast forwarding through the uh, playhead, which is pretty cool. This little button there, which brings up a separate menu or what they call arc dial guide. And this is gonna give you access to monitor settings. It's gonna allow you to create custom sizing for different windows. It's going to uh, allow you to go home to your multi-view settings, which like this is one of my saved multi-views, or to the game bar if you're in game mode, and, and that gives you quicker access to things you might be interested in if you're playing a game, refresh, performance, and so forth. So if I go ahead and click the same multi-view button, you'll see now there's quite a few more uh, orientations. So if I go make my own, we can do a dual monitor, just left and right. We can do one big, two small. We can do three that are kind of evenly distributed. We can do four with one large, three little ones on the side, or we can do a quad setup, which I'll demonstrate now. So we can have the PC in the top left, Samsung TV in the bottom left, We'll do YouTube in the top right, and then we'll do an internet browser in the bottom right. And then you can also connect a mouse directly to the monitor, which would let you quickly move between, directly to the monitor, which would let you quickly move between your uh, different inputs. Honestly, I think, as much as I'm sort of playing around and enjoying the multitasking aspect, I think the real appeal of this display at the moment is just having a tremendous, bright, beautiful, high resolution, high refresh display in full screen. And you sit as close as possible to it in order to almost create a scenario similar to VR without the need for VR. Okay, let's go to single display mode and let's blast some video games on here. Well, what do you say? This is great. Yeah, it's great. It's next level. Like it's kind of the holy grail of monitors. Look at the way he's sitting and how comfortable he is. And he can be at a distance, which would be impossible with other monitors because, well, they just don't have the scale. This intense curvature bringing everything 
to like a comfortable position for him to see as he's playing. It's kind of the dream come true. So there you have it. That is the new top tier top dog status monitor. The holy grail of monitors. The Odyssey Arc from Samsung. I'm gonna have to try to like yank Willie Do out of there to possibly get some work done at some point. But I have a funny feeling people are gonna be fighting over this monitor. Good Lord.